Hello and welcome to my Hack Shack located right here in Los Angeles. My name is Johnny and I support horror. How is everyone holding up today? Man, it seems like, I was just thinking about, it seems like forever since I went and saw a movie in a theater. Since we can't go to the theater right now, uh, it's been really nice to see certain studios releasing their films on uh, digital or on demand at the moment so that we can watch them at home. I know that Blumhouse Productions and Universal Pictures released The Invisible Man and The Hunt on digital so that we could watch at home just in case you missed it in theaters. Yes, the price to view some of these movies are high right now, like I think I believe it was $20 to get The Hunt and maybe The Invisible Man too. But if you're gonna go and watch these at the theater, like bring a friend, get snacks, you're gonna end up paying a lot more at the theater. So I think 20 bucks is a good deal to watch at home. You know what you should do is uh, have a watch party at home, charge $5 at the door, make a profit. <laughs> get a bunch of people to gather around your big screen TV, make money off of it. Okay, maybe don't do that, don't do that. But anyway, following that trend, I thought it was really cool to see that Fangoria partnered with some really awesome local theaters to release their latest production of Porno. It's only $12 to rent and you get to watch it in all its glory on Vimeo and gain the satisfaction of knowing that you are helping out local theaters because I don't know what portion of the money goes to the theaters, um, I'm hoping a lot, but you actually get to pick which theater you want the money to go to. So I think it's just really good for everyone. So I paid the $12, uh, watched Fangoria's porno, and while I didn't like this one as much as other productions put out by Fangoria, I'm still glad that I watched it. There's a great little blip from Nightmarish Conjurings uh, about this movie that says, if you enjoy 90s films, practical effects, and mutilated penises, then this film is for you. And I would say that that statement right there is pretty accurate, so let's talk about it, horror fam. Fangoria's horror comedy movie Porno takes place in 1992 and follows five teens that work in a movie theater in a small Christian town. One particular night after closing time, their uber-religious boss uh, lets their employees, these five teens, have a movie night uh, where they get to lock the doors of the public and just watch any movie that they want in one of the theaters, kind of like a treat uh, for doing a good job at work that week. Now, there's only a couple movie options to watch in this theater, uh, but they do stumble across an ominous-looking film canister in the basement that they decide to open. Big mistake, because they come to find out by opening this film canister, they just released an alluring succubus that tempts all of our teens and tries to possess them. First of all, I really like the fact that this entire movie takes place inside a movie theater. I mean, what a great setting for nostalgia. I think most horror nerds like myself or any uber fan of cinema likes to go to the movie theaters for sanctuary. So you feel some sort of comfort when watching this, uh, at least I did. Uh, for a little bit. <laughs> As for our five teenagers, I think that the most memorable out of all of the characters was the projectionist named Heavy Metal Jeff. Now, his name is Jeff, but everyone calls him Heavy Metal Jeff because uh, he listens to hardcore music and plays drums. He has long hair, wears flannel, and from a distance looks as if he could be Mr. Cool, you know, sort of a rebel, kind of emulates a bender from The Breakfast Club. What's so great about his character is that despite his cool looking exterior, he's a spaz and a dork. Now, Heavy Metal Jeff is straight edge. Um, I remember growing up in junior high and high school and being friends with a few straight edge kids. If you don't know, straight edge is, a, is like a subculture of hardcore punk. Usually being straight edge means that uh, you don't drink any alcohol, you don't use drugs, and you listen to a lot of uh, hardcore punk music. There are levels to it and some may be more intense than others, but I just love the fact that uh, Jeff was a straight edge dude. It was hilarious because he kept getting mad at everybody uh, for calling him heavy metal Jeff because he didn't listen to heavy metal music, he listened to hardcore music. I laughed at that a lot because uh, someone like myself who listens to a lot of hardcore music, I listen to a lot of metal music, a lot of subgenres of metal too, I will totally be that geek that will correct someone if they if they get the genre wrong. Uh, actually, I'm listening to metalcore and what you're describing is clearly grindcore. You're wrong. Okay, I'm really not that bad. I'm not that snooty about it, buddy. You know, at times I kind of roll my eyes on the inside a little bit, but that's only because I'm a geek, man. Okay, leave me alone. So overall, what makes Heavy Metal Jeff great is that he's just as nerdy 
if not the nerdiest out of all of the characters. And I just appreciate all the layers that they gave him. I think a big part of what makes certain sections of this movie funny is the little subtle quotes and movements by our characters, mainly Jeff. There was some dialogue that didn't necessarily stick with me or you know I found very funny, but there were some really good bits in here. What I'm trying to say is that uh, it was all the little things that made this funny for me. Small actions or snappy comebacks done by our characters that you almost miss. For example, something really simple. Uh, somebody would take a desk lamp, very carefully place it over to the side and then shove everything else off the desk in a violent fashion. And let's talk about the elephant in the room here. Well, uh, it's, it's a little bit smaller than an elephant, but I think you should know there are a pair of mangled balls in this movie. If there's one thing a Fangoria production is going to have, it's practical effects. And while I haven't had the pleasure of uh, seeing a mutilated dick and balls in real life, um, let's see, I know it's only 9.30 in the morning, so there's still a lot of time. Uh, but this creation <laughs> looked very realistic to me. And if you look at uh, page 54 in the latest issue of Fangoria, you will see uh, this man's mangled junk. <laughs> wow. Shocks me every time. Um, yeah, you'll see the mangled junk uh, in this issue. You'll see some behind the scenes shots of them creating it, the origin behind it. You know, fun for the whole family. Uh, it's a good article to read during breakfast, especially if you're having eggs. And overall, uh, just being honest here, I wanted to like it more than I actually did. It was more slow moving than I expected it to be. Uh, in my opinion anyway, there seemed to be some sort of pacing issues. I feel like uh, they could have benefited from just cutting like 20 minutes of this film. Porno had all the makings of being this funny, uh, shocking, sex-soaked, over-the-top B-horror movie, and most of the time it was it just uh, it just didn't completely hit the mark for me I still urge you to watch this movie because I know that some of you will have a complete blast uh, I just thought it was kind of fun I have no regrets uh, paying the $12 to watch Fangoria's porno to help support local theaters and uh, you know what you shouldn't either but only if you have the cash to spend because I know times are tight right now Okay, horror fam, that is it for me today. Um, I just wanna say thank you again for coming by my channel and watching this review. If you wanna leave a comment, that'd be awesome. Let me know if you've seen porno, if you wanna see it. Uh, I just always love hearing from you, so go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. And let's be friends to the end, people. You know you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at the horror hack. Once again, my name is Johnny. Keep supporting horror, and this has been One Hack of a Show.